Hello my friends, welcome back to the Wings of Liberty Pyromania mod. We are going to continue. Keep in mind this is mission 8. And we, I listened to everyone's votes and we're going to Gates of Hack. <laughs> this is not going to be a good one. I have a feeling this is going to be a very painful VOD. Alright, so first things first, we've got to move these guys over here, get you in here. Oh, hello. That's a lot of firepower very early. And we, ugh, I guess we'll get the upgrade there. Keep me updated on those drop pods as they get to yeah, keep me updated, Matt. We, we gotta make sure things go well. Desert. Let's get this guy Mark patrolling over here. We can't rebuild these bunkers. We gotta make sure everything is going well. And I guess I'm gonna get a factory real quick because I don't really have many other options. I'm very concerned about the aggression from the Zerg. Hmm. I'm actually very concerned about everything on this mission. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Let's get out there and find him before the Zerg do. All right. So what upgrades do I have? I don't have concussive shell. I don't have any medic upgrades. I have combat shields, but I don't have stim. All right. You know what? We don't need this gas geyser. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Uh. All right, we're going to pop up here and start taking down some of the hydras and stuff, grabbing these pickups. We're going to get factory right on here and try not to blow up my own men. <laughs> I said try and I'll succeed. And we're going to have to get an armory, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't listen to her. Stay focused. This is bad. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of stuff. Siege up. Siege up. And you know what? Let's get some perditions. I think that a perdition, like, right here would be good. And hope that that's enough for now. Oh, well. Splash damage got it. Upgrade complete. Okay, drop pod in the vicinity. Head on over. We cannot get hammer securities yet. We can... What do we even do? Oh, I can't make missile turrets either. This is horrifying. How much do these cost? 150. So we'll grab one right here to help out. Okay, we will not grab one right there. And we'll try to rescue these guys. We need everything we can rescue. It's going to be incredibly important. The Marauders soaking the shots. Take these out. Not bad. Uh, I need some more tanks or something. There's so many banelings that attack on this mission, which is really the scary part. Because I just don't have bunkers or something to help out. <laughs> it's just Hellions eventually. What else do I need? Guess we're gonna get the Hellion upgrades while we're here. That's <laughs> If it's flamethrower edition, it's flamethrower edition. I know what I must do. And try pulling these hydras out away from everything else. Oh, Ooh, that was big pain. Yeah, I just don't have anti air. That's the big thing. There's going to be brood lords eventually. Hmm. Pick that one down. Alright. Let's see, we'll need some Vikings. I'm gonna wait for the starport for that though. Because Vikings can hit air. That'll be a huge step in the right direction. And put these on hold position just to deal with random lings. And I guess this is good here. Okay, we'll get the gas geyser now. I wonder if these guys will be useful. We could maybe use them to rescue stuff instead. 
Oh, but there's Broodlords and stuff later, huh? Or Mutas right now, goodness. That's a lot of Mutas. Unseed, nope. Yeah, it turns out that one what? Oh, there's so many Mutas! Well, that is all the anti-air that I have. Looks like I'm going to have to reset here. Probably go for Vikings more quickly, huh? Sir, another drop pod is coming down near your location. Let's see. Let's give it a go. Oh, <laughs> that closes the client. Good to know. <laughs> well, let's try it again. So, wow. We gotta go for Vikings. There's no other choice. Unfortunately, without mules, without any sort of SCV reactor, without auto gas, it's so hard to do this stuff early on, you know? Let's get you in here. What if we move this up a little bit? And put that right here? Not sure if that's a good idea. In and in. I just want to protect this bunker. I'm not sure what the right answer for that is. Definitely plus one. Oh gosh. 40 seconds. I'm not mining. There's so many things to think about. Let's try getting a starport. I didn't really have the money to afford anything else. Oh, I can make Vikings, but I can't get attack upgrades for them. It should be landing close to your position any second. So Hellions are definitely going to have to be the bulk of my combat prowess still. Let's hit these. Pull back. Try not to lose the Medic. Try not to lose the Marauder. Okay, everything survived. Can head on up. But we're going to need like six to eight Vikings to deal with a lot of stuff. Kill that evil man. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not building that reactor yet. I, so love the way you kindle I think there's a little bit of money on that side that I was missing all last time. Bring them all to my yeah, that'll be nice. Be you can get one factory, one starport. Now we can get guys into those bunkers. Stay focused and we'll make it out of here together. Repair guy and repair guy. Sure. You go Marauder in... Something like that. This is going to make it much harder to deal with these next capture... Tanks! Oh, <laughs> these upgrades that I don't have are so powerful. Oh, I wish I had them. It would make life so much more manageable. See, they just, like... What am I supposed to do there? As soon as you start repairing, the lings go to them. Hmm. I can't really afford eBay walls, and I can't make any more tanks. Not sure what the answer is. Okay, be very careful with this guy. Nope. Okay. Oh my goodness, Mutus. Yep. All right. I'm just going to have to get enough mutas and enough static defense pieces, I think. Fine, we'll salvage this. Then I'm going to move over a little bit. Oh, hi. Creep. <laughs> Chill. We're going to take down the creep here, I think. Or, you know, just be in position. Get some of this cash on this side as well. That would be good. Big money. And if we can stop or hit them before the spines burrow, we'll be in a much better position. Oh, Banelink Snow! Well, that's unideal. Oh, I was thinking about the spines. I did not think that I was literally going to have Banelink spawn on top of me. Well... At least we got this factory we can bring back to the landing zone. 
Uh, over here is a little bit of cash. And then over here is a little bit of cash. We can set up some mines to stop whatever attack wave ends up coming from this side. And then I think we just build SCVs over here for a long time. I don't know where to put this where it doesn't block my stuff. Maybe just like right here. Where does the next attack one or the next defense drop come from? I think that it comes from the side over here. So we're actually going to head out right now. Got a lot of anti-light. I've got a lot of anti-air. And I've got a lot of repair. We have to keep those tanks alive. It is the most important part. Why is the Viking heading this way? All the medics are dead too. Oh. So this is the big Muta energy. I am not doing great here. But the tanks didn't die. We lived. That's all that matters. Take these guys off gas. And that's two more tanks. That's a lot more anti-ground on this side. That's big. So we can siege these guys up, keep getting the rally over here. I would actually... Yeah, I think I'm going to move out with the Hellions from now on. Seems a bit safer. And then just try to avoid any sort of... Broodlord. Just run away. Getting attack upgrades for them. And we can get some more of this cash that is ran away on the floor. And more Vikings. Uh, we should probably get Viking armor because that bounce is very, very powerful. And they're going to have 2-2 eventually. These brings need to not be on hold position. Where does the next one come from? Is it the one on the... The Goliath thing up here? It might be. I'm just kind of... Oh, I've played this mission a good number of times, but most of the time when you're doing these runs, the actual spawns don't matter too much. Okay, get a couple guys rallied into that gas. We're going to need it. Oh, it's this one. Got it. With the Ultralisk. I can stop that. i swing this way. Pull the Ultra into the tanks because we're not taking that fight. And then we got Bane Linked. That was a good Bane Link flank. Then there's a Corruptor that we don't care about. We can get the Starport over into position. Get him out of here. Vikings, go help. Nice. And then we can eventually drop some point defense drones to help out. Okay, we're going to go for Carapace next, and then I believe the top is the next drop. Oh, we got it? Oh my gosh, we got it. this is General Warfield. We got an Archipelago unlock, even though it's not a bonus objective. I guess it's a... Maybe it is a bonus objective. I am. Uh... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I just want anything else. Anything. I'm not picky. I'll take. I'll, I'll take anything. I can't. What do you want from me, game? Is this a sign that I'm not building enough Hellions? Because I'm trying. I'm trying to build all the Hellions. It's just I keep going. What more do you want from me? Why? Oh my god, no. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Goodbye. It's just... It's so much. It's... I don't know what to do. 
<laughs> You're sure talking a lot, Kerrigan. <laughs> Why would? Oh my goodness, no. We're okay. <laughs> Let's get some hammer securities. We're gonna we're gonna rescue everybody before we go. I can't. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. Why is it more Hellion stuff? How is there more Hellion stuff? <laughs> Why was someone so in love with the Hellion they decided this needed to happen? Oh no. Okay. Well, that's some anti-air at least. We'll be able to get that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, pull this way. Whoa. Um, we got the point defense drone. It did best it can. Keep getting a couple guys over here. Okay, the Vikings did their job. Thank you. I was having a hard time focusing, Vikings, but you're here for me. Let's go get these Goliaths. It's good to see you, Goliaths. This is not an easy mission game. Like, I'm just too much. Oh, uh, Warfield's under attack. My sensibilities are under attack. The world is just chaos. I don't know what to do. <sighs> Let's try to clear this out. Best we can. Do those feel like they're attacking faster than normal? What's this? What? Sir, I read multiple drop pods entering the atmosphere. I don't think you'll have enough time to rescue them all. I don't uh, know what that was. Zerg in the area. What do we want? Okay, uh, Banshees and Hellion. No, okay, we need the Viking. <laughs> Vikings and Hellion. It's the law. It's the law. <laughs> I'm not gonna work against fate. <laughs> it's a bad plan. Oh wait, maybe we can, maybe we can die of these ultras instead. Okay, another point defense drone. Oh gosh, a lot of broodlords. Is it this way? Oh, this is bad. I wanted to be able to run away from them, but that's uh, a bit much. Vikings can come over and take this down. Tanks are doing tanky things. Oh gosh, every Hellion went down. These ultras are just horrifying. What happened? Oh no! Well, oh, that's not good. See if we can pull these guys over here to the base. Come on, tanks. There's one. Mu okay, well. One muta. Let's, uh, let's do our best over here. And our fields are starting to be depleted. And rescue this. Lift these. Take it down. What is this? No. Up. What? What is happening? There's another wave of drop pods coming in, sir. It would be too dangerous to try and rescue them all. What was that? Let's target ground units. Let's target air. It's not ground or air, and I can't click on it. Okay. The last of the Dominion drop pods have reached the surface of Char. Looks like we're on our own, boys. That's a lot of ultras over here. That's a lot of air units on this side. We're gonna head to this side because we have the Vikings and stuff. Oh, uh, because there's a giant death army coming to ruin my day. Oh my goodness. Uh, tanks. Pull that up. Air units come this way. Everyone else come as well. You're all invited. Point defense drone. This whole area is going to die. I do not care. I just want the BCs. Mineral field depleted. BCs are going to beat the Corrupter. Okay, now we got it. Stop producing. 
Oh, Let's I get a space. fusion core. You ready for I don't really have a plan. <laughs> it's... Yes, we're going to figure it out as we go. Somehow these guys just didn't die. So we're going to try to figure that out. I might as well grab them if I can. And then we got to move. Got to move our base to where the infested are. Our allies' base is under attack. Word. All day long. Is that it? Smoke it. Break the banes. Oh, gee, no, oh, the spawn. These guys spawn right there, and they spawned right on top, and a tank shelled me. Our allies base is under attack. One more for the devastation bucket. Okay, we got these guys. And then... Attach tech lab. I can do that. I did that. Alright, tech lab on the way for the Hercules. There's no way this is gonna work. Save me, medevac. 122 supply. So the real question is, do I have to migrate over here? Yeah, I do. I need more food. It's not going to be clean. I guess I'll take the Hellions over here and we'll make sure that everything is messed up on that side. And there won't be issues. We can get through the infested with these guys pretty nicely. We can finish off the spore cannon. 100 minerals and 115 minerals. We're never going to be able to get this upgrade. Bring this over here. Our allies base is under attack. And then... I guess we wait for one of those big attacks to happen, and then we move. There's no other choice. We can't... We can't move and risk being hit by something big like Ultra Lisky while this is happening. And we can set the tanks right here. We're going to need high ground of the base, but that's okay. Everyone gather minerals. Here's a big attack. Point defense drone is going to do wonders. We got the BCs tanking. And now we can head out. Swing wall over here. 140 kill to siege tank doing his job. And then lift, 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 lift. Get out of here. Whatever survives, survives. Chill. Where's the tanks? Where's the tanks? Here's the tanks. Okay, siege these up. Get a couple guys just for guaranteed repairs. Come over here. Another just blind point defense drone. And then land, 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 and out of the way. Those are going to tank. I want a BC on this side. I want all the fighters inside, and then I want a BC on this side. Just to soak whatever shots. Infantry kind of stay under. There's not a whole lot of healing for them, so they can't go too far forward. Start making more Hellions. So we got a nice solution where the Lings and Banes are going to try to go through this gap instead of actually moving forward. That's going to be really big. Keep the SCVs coming. Do I want to get the art? No, I just, I don't feel like I can ever afford that upgrade. I just need to get as much supply as I can. Try to max. And then we'll slowly siege push our way through this while we're being hit from behind as well. It's not going to be pretty because siege pushing with four siege tanks is, uh... Well, some would say it's not siege pushing. I'm keeping the Hercules. It's not really like 
part of my plan because I don't oh, think I that I have the tools required to cheese this. And I don't want to. I want to see if I can do it legit. But I do think that having a dropship might be required. Also, it's really bulky. I can kind of put it over here and hopefully keep some high ground vision. Blindly dropping another point defense drone because this one's about to expire. Viking count is 16. That's probably enough anti-air. Now we have to work on our anti-ground. And the infested count seems to be increasing in number, huh? There's a lot of them. I'll keep the gas income coming just so I can make sure that I have the ability to repair. And then we'll slow push through. Probably 170 supply. That seems good. Yeah, these defenses are working great. We took a bit of damage, but it wasn't anything that wasn't repairable. Hellion count is at 17. Let's see, there's 1, 2, 7, 14, 17, 20, like 24-ish Hellions that I could build, and then I'm out of money. But I need to make sure that I have repair costs. So let's build 10, and then everything else will be the repairs. Got it. We're going to wait for a big attack, and then I'm going to get ready to go. I need to make sure I have these tanks hotkeyed. They're the most important unit here. Number two is the Raven. He's able to just keep providing these drones. This is so stressful. I apologize. I know my commentary a lot of the time is uh, better than this, but I'm doing, like, no upgrade gates of hell, and it's... <laughs> This is such a hard mission. All right. We can go. So, next big attack, then go. I hope they attack in the next five seconds. Hey. Kind of worked. <laughs> That's close enough. forward and drop a point defense drone on top move the hellions and we're done macroing now we're slowly gonna creep these siege tanks forward Ooh, big boss coming on this side actually they dealt with it very nicely good job guys If we can slowly inch these and keep them covered, we get a couple SCVs for repairs. Mr. Backup Tank is doing nicely. And then we'll move the Hercules for spotting. Now we can focus a little bit on these stack defense pieces, because that's how we actually get to move in. Here needs to pull back a little bit. Still at 180 supply. Three spines there. Well, it's two now. Inch this guy forward. Keep him covered by his brothers. Do the same with this one. We're gonna have to move this one. Big attack coming to the side. BC does the tanking. No problem. Keep the repairs going. Inch the Hercules. Focus down the spine crawler. And start putting some damage on with the Hellions. And if we can take down some of these infested structures. We're going to be able to really be in good shape. Are they light? Oh, dude, they're light. 
Well, at least... Oh my gosh, they're all light! Oh my gosh, blue flame hellions. <laughs> it, it's so inconsequential, and it's amazing. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, we're gonna pull the ultra this way. Get the siege tanks to fire upon him. Zarya's still doing fine. A lot of dudes over here. We're actually gonna get the second BC on this side now. More repairs over here, and we're gonna... Oh, we can't full wall this. That's fine. We're gonna blindly drop the PDD over here, because this push is actually going nicely. But we're at the point where we are no longer ever... Thank you, Infester. See that you've been playing a bit of StarCraft Master, Mr. Infester. Congratulations. I hope you got to mission 30. Our allies base is under attack. Move them forward. Goliath's taking damage. BC's soaking. It's just Hydras. It's just Hydras. Our allies base is under attack. A little bit of cash. You were fools to come here. Let's do this. Big push on this side. Uh, Are you ready for this? Got no patience. Move the tanks over. Mineral field depleted. Our allies base is up. Actually, these roaches aren't doing a great job of getting. Oh no. Oh, that could have been bad. Move these banshees forward. Base and we gotta keep attack. pushing. Base is under attack. I can't deal with that happening many more times. It'd be really, really bad. I'm also not mining anymore, so I guess we can... Start moving this stuff. Everybody come this way. If everyone is near the tanks, we're much more covered. Where's the SCVs? They need to cover the tanks as well. <sighs> Vikings are clearing. Everybody forward. Base is gone. I think these buildings are just going to be on hold position in the back so that Hydras and stuff will attack them a little bit. We've got this ridge covered. Now I'm going to move forward with the Hellions to figure out what there is. See if I can pull some enemies. And the air gets annihilated. Broodlord wasn't that bad. Oh, the Scourge could be bad though. Flank attack, being a flank attack. Lord. Double brood. Oops. How many SCVs are alive? Quite a few. Great. Our allies base is under attack. So now we gotta go down. You ready for war? Our allies base is under attack. Aliens move forward. Set up. Everybody else. Start migrating. Oh, I think I just got hit by a big Bane Blast. That's not good. Start putting the pressure on this base. Pull all these Banes. Oh, the Ultra too. Don't let it die. Or rather, let it die. <laughs> don't, let, don't let Grant die. Our allies base is under attack. Siege up. Hive goes down. Oh no. That's a high ground position that was pretty good. Actually, they got stuck right there though. The Hydra's got in a good position, but everything else was kind of off. Alright, the Hive is down. One of the big barriers here. See tanks move forward. Hercules moved to spot. That is a lot of stuff right there. 
Help him, boys. Inch forward. Keep these for spotting over on this side, I guess. But we can move all the infantry and stuff this way. And then... Move forward a bit. Siege up. Try to get vision of what's going on. I didn't want to trigger the scary stuff yet. SCV count's very low at this point. So repairs are going to be limited. Alright, enemies are going to start spawning very soon. Come out of the Nidus. Or at least come to defend the Nidus, maybe from outside. Oh, or they'll go over to Warfield. They don't have vision. Oh, they don't have vision. Okay. Our allies base is under attack. My defense drone. Oh, missile pods. <laughs> One night is down. It's happening. Siege up. Oh, here it comes. No, 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 no. All right. Thank you. The Banshees provide really nice fire support right there. We're going to split back. Need to fix that. Vikings forward. Kill the high ground. Spotting. Oh, the Scourge are coming. Keep shelling the Nidus. And there's one more. Alright. Now, if I know my StarCraft, I definitely do. Then they can't see these. And that means we win. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> no. that, was, that was so easy! <laughs> we can actually sweep these over to Warfield's base and then he can... He can help out. Reached the crash site. With any luck, old Warfield's still alive and kicking. <laughs> we got the Spectre. I don't even know if we have Spectre upgrades. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Turns. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you for watching this episode of this episode of the flamethrower randomizer. Uh, we have more flamethrowers now. There's a lot of options for where we can go for now. We can go to the Mobius Factor. We can go to the Great Train Robbery. We can go to a Sinister Turn, which is where we fight Mar which I would like to remind you, we have only unlocked, I believe, the High Templar as our anti... or No, Void Ray, too. High Templar and Void Ray as our Protoss units. And speaking of that, we can also go to In Utter Darkness. <laughs> I'm not going to ask for anything because I know it will go wrong. But if I don't ask for anything, I know... I know what people are going to pick. So... <laughs> I will say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Peace.